In this short video, I'm going to show you how to create a doodle style poll with Google Forms. So I'm going to start here in my Google Drive, come over to the new tab, come down to forms. And instead of clicking forms here, I'm going to come over and click on the little arrow to the side and choose from a template. So this isn't something that is necessarily used all that much, but Google does have a template gallery for Google Forms. And as you scroll through here, you'll see all kinds of different types of events and forms that you could put together to send to other people. The one that we're going to look at today is called Find a Time. And I'm going to click on that to open a new Google Form. Now, anything on this template can be edited and changed, and we're going to look at that very shortly here. But as you scroll down here, you can see this Google Form was built to find a time for a meeting. And the crux of this is really this question right here, which looks just like a doodle poll. Now, this type of question inside a Google Form is called a checkbox grid. And if I click on it, you can see that I have the ability to edit and change anything on this form. So let's say, for instance, I'm only looking at days Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So I could deselect Tuesday and Thursday. And already, if I come back up here and click on the other question, you can see how that changes the choices here. Now, the times are not very specific on here. So at the moment, it says morning, midday, afternoon and evening. I can change that with specific times if I want just by clicking on here, then coming over and changing what would be in the box here. So let's say this one is going to be 10 to 11 a.m. This one is going to be 1 to 2 p.m. This one here is going to be 2 to 3 p.m. And I'm just going to take the last one out completely. Let's take a look and see what that looks like. Here we go. Now participants who have got sent this Google form have got choices of times that they would like to meet on certain days. Now, the only limitation I guess with this would be what if you wanted to offer a four to five slot only on Tuesdays? Well, then the issue you have here is that you would have four to five for all those days. So if you wanted to have unique time slots for certain days, then you have to duplicate the question here and add it again. So if I click in this box here, come down to the bottom, you can see I've got the option to duplicate this question. So if I click duplicate, it's going to ask me to come in here and give some different options and editing. So let's say for this one, we'll change it to Tuesday and then we'll do Thursday because Tuesday and Thursday had different time options than Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So let's say if we've got a 9 to 10 a.m. slot here. We've also got um, an 11 to 12 p.m. slot and then Maybe that's the only options that we have available on Tuesday and Thursday. So we would just click out of this one here and you can see now that we've got Monday, Wednesday, Friday with options. And then we've got Tuesday and Thursday with options on there too. If you had different time options for every day, you could just add as many of those checkbox grid questions as you need in order to cover the times you have. So when you're ready to send this out to participants, you would come up here to the send button and then you've got different ways as you would normally send a Google form out to people. You've got the email option, you've got the link option, and then you've got the embed option. So what will this look like when participants have filled in all the responses and you're trying to find that meeting slot time? Well, let's find out. All right, so we've had eight people fill in responses to our form now. You can see that on the tab at the top here where it says responses and has the number eight next to it. So if I click on the responses tab now, scroll down past who has responded, I can take a look at the results of my two questions here and see what day it looks like it's gonna be best for most of the people. 
So we're looking at number eight. We've got eight people who have responded. And as on the graph here, you can see we've got three people on this time slot on Monday and then one on this time slot on Monday. Up to four here. But looking down at Tuesday, I can see six people of the eight can make that 9 to 10 a.m. slot on Tuesday. So I'm thinking this might be the best one for me to use to send out a calendar invite. So just a quick look at how you can create a doodle style poll inside of Google Forms. I hope that's useful for you.